with a round paper bag. And I've been doing Brother Jabril for years, uh, throughout the years. Uh, when I saw him, I knew he came to see the minister. And whenever I see Brother Jabril, I see the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. That's synonymous, you know, Jabril, Muhammad. Elijah Muhammad, Jabril. That's, to me, that's all he knows. That's all he, all he ever, he's ever talked about, talked about, studied about, all he, he, that's all he's ever done was the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. So when I saw him, I always automatically, always knew and it had something to do with the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. So, I took him back to, to meet, see Mr. Farrakhan, uh, who was interviewing, I think he was interviewing Jane Kennedy or one of the other celebrities at that time. And he shook hands and they talked for a few minutes. And the minister told him that, well, he told me, he said, why don't you help him out? See, and, uh, you know, you know, I'll, so I could talk to him soon as I finished talking to uh, these particular people. So. Jabril and I went back to the front, uh, asked me if he wanted some coffee or something. And he said, I don't know if he said yes or no, but he said, let's have a seat here. We sat in the booth. And when we sit in the booth, he said, brother, while we're sitting here, I want you to read something. And uh, he said, this is something about the first chapter, which is really the last chapter. Which would be the first time. <laughs> That'd be it. So he pulled out a couple of pages. So put it on the table. And I looked at it. I said, okay, I'll look through it. I put it on the side. He said, no, you have to read it now. <laughs> but by the time I got to do that, the minister was ready. So I gave it back to him. He put it back in the bag. And the minister came, came back and told me, he said, let's go up to the room. And they went up to their room to talk. So we all went on the elevator together, went up to the room to talk. And uh, he went and talked to the minister and told, uh, he told me that he, what he had told the minister that when he finished reading that, he would get back to him. And he said at that time the minister asked him other questions, but he said, no, after you read this, then I'll get back to you. So this was Friday. I don't know what the exact date was, but I know it was on Friday. And uh, so the minister stayed in the room, Jabril came down there. And Saturday, I came back to the hotel just to check on the minister. So I went up to the room, knocked on the door. And uh, he came to the door. And I said, I said, I'm late. But I, I felt like I was intruding. I mean, like, at the door, I didn't really need to come. Because he had a certain aura, feeling, vibration about him that he was really deep into something. But I stepped inside, and I, when I said, I said, I mean, he said, well, Lake Salaam, he didn't, I, to me, he wasn't even, he wasn't even conscious of the fact that I was really there because he was so, so engrossed with what he was doing. So he went back, as I remember correctly, there was two beds. He, went, he had papers put out all over the beds from my recollection. That he, all, he ever, all he ever said to me was, return the greetings. That's all he said. I never moved from that door. And I said to myself, I'm getting out of here. Because he needs to be, I need how to be. So I left. And I said to myself, I'll come back later. And I closed and locked the door. And came out and locked the door. That was Saturday. Sunday, I come back. The two of them had met. And they were tears in the eyes. I mean, the minister was just, in, in fact, when I was in the room, I was, uh, as I told Brother Jabril in the early interview, that he wasn't 
that he was possessed, but he was possessed, he was obsessed with whatever he was dealing with. I knew that everything had changed because he was a changed person. When I saw him Sunday, yeah, both of them had, had talked and then agreed that uh, what he was going to do. And he asked me, uh, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know if it's the same sequence, but he, he said, let, uh, he told me to go go for a walk. So we, he just loves to walk. He can walk. He may, well, he may walk you 10 miles <laughs> at a time. Because <laughs> uh, he walks and talks. And you, you, you don't realize how long, how far you walk when you walk with him. But anyway, we went for a walk down Sunset Road. You know, across the street. He started telling me, he started telling me what he was going to do to change his direction. He's no longer going to pursue the movie industry, the movie thing. What he's going to do, he's going to rebuild, take on the rebuilding of the Honorable Life of Muhammad Burke, his mission of rebuilding uh, his work. And he told me all the different things that the Honorable Life Muhammad said he was going to do that had not been done, that he was going to do. And as we walked and talked, he said that I said, one of the things that he said, I was, while he was talking, I was thinking about how are we going to do this? And another thought came to my mind, and Allah already knows how he's going to do it. Because, because what Jabril had given to him opened up his eyes. He saw he was a different man. See, the minister, as to me, has always been a universal person. When I heard his teaching originally in Boston, he was teaching, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad's teaching then, but his language, to me, coming out of the metaphysical field that I was in, his language was universal, even though he was talking black, but he was talking from a level of universal black. I didn't understand Toya totally then at the time, but I knew that's what he's the person I need to be with. So I stayed with him. And eventually, I got back with Brother Drill in California. So I've been back and forth with them for uh, all my life. Been in the nation, I've been to Drill and minister, to Drill and minister. Uh, so when he said that, we got almost to the end. He said he's going to do all this. Help me build a master teacher. He said, Brother, what do you think? I said, Brother Minister, anything you do that said help me build the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, I'm with you. I'm, I, I'd better keep myself to be with you. So that's how it originally started my relationship with him. And from that, I did ask him one question. I said, are you going to build everything the minister said? Is does that include the hospital? Because I had a picture of the hospital that Abu Lai Muhammad said he would get that they, the enemy never did want him to build that hospital. Even though the Abu Lai Muhammad uh, had, had put a million dollars down on the land to do it. The city found a way to keep him from doing it. So we never built the hospital. So he said, yes. He said, brother, I'm going to do everything that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad says he's going to do, plus some, because a good student always excels what the teacher tells you. That's how you tell a good student. And I always remember that until, until this day, Mr. Farrakhan has kept his word on everything he said. Allah has blessed him to fulfill all that, plus the world. He has been a world to us. He has taken 